Breaking news that we have been following since our 4 o'clock newscast. Pasadena police officers opened fire on a chase suspect, killing him. That suspect is accused of stealing two cars today. The first, a carjacking, is what led to all of this. Mm. Here's where that chase ended. Sabo Road and Fuquay near I-45, the Gulf Freeway, down in southeast Houston. Our Michael Laparty is live on the scene tonight with an update. Michael? Chris, all of the police cars that you see just behind me here, they're actually blocking a white truck that is down there at the end of the street. We're told the suspect was behind the wheel of that vehicle when the shooting happened, and the suspect is now dead. As we go to the video, the, vu the view from Sky 2 shows the aftermath. You can see the bullet holes in the front windshield, and the driver's side window is shattered. Police say this all started with a carjacking of a Cadillac Escalade earlier in the day. OnStar later alerted Pasadena police to the vehicle's location. Now, an officer's got there, the suspect held a gun to his own head, which prompted officers to back off. The suspect then jumped into the white truck, which had the keys left, and took off and stole that. The chief says the suspect hit several vehicles on the freeway before losing control and officers moving in here where we are now. Investigators say that suspect brandished a gun, and that's when the shooting happened. We have a, a suspect that we know is armed. Um, obviously, you know, no regard for for other other people's safety when he's driving in oncoming traffic and you know striking other vehicles so th there's a lot of concerns the chief telling us that four officers in total were involved. He also said that there was no one else in that white truck at the time when the suspect hopped inside and no one else was hurt. That's the latest reporting live. Michael Party, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Thanks.